September evening on the island of Sodor. Duncan was taking a special load of chocolate from Mr. Jolly's chocolate factory and expected to deliver to Thomas and Percy. Rusty was in a siding. I'd like to help you, said Rusty with encouragement. The guard ran into his van as fast as he could. I can't take your day. Goodbye, Rusty. And soon the guard blew his whistle and Duncan shuttled away to the sun. Duncan was making excellent time. He touched the countryside. What he didn't know is that, that the rails were slippery from a, from a rainstorm last night. Duncan tried to pop up the hill, but his sandy gear failed and he had to stop. Oh shit, said the driver. Looks like we can't get any further now. I'm going to get help. Soon, Rusty was summoned to the rescue. Still young Duncan. And Rusty made his way. Duncan was waiting at the top of the hill. His, his brakes were about to fail, but then Rusty arrived. Here I am, Duncan. Now let's get you up this hill. This chocolate can't wait on its own. Rusty popped up the hill and buffered up to the back. And soon, both engines triumphantly rise the hill in succession. Gate, Thomas and Percy were waiting and waiting for their delivery. Sir Topham Hatt was the most impatient of them all. I will wait one more minute, and if I have to wait one more minute, then... But then he was interrupted. Both Duncan and Rusty arrived at the platform. Here we are, sir. Here is the delivery. At last. And soon, the deliveries were unloaded from the vans and transferred into the other vans. Both engines felt accomplished. He felt victorious. Sir Tom Hatt, however, was not certain. Hmm, you got lucky. Please be careful next time. This isn't... We can't have this on a continuous basis now, can we? Both Percy and Thomas had to agree. They knew that this was a serious matter, and knowing this, things would have happened. But either way, both engines learned a very vital lesson. They learned a little bit of a lesson, not to overdo it with the food, 